Hey, James. Hey, Sean. How you doing? Pretty good today. What's happening? Today, we're going to go buy some coffee beans. Alrighty then, before we can go into town and get ourselves some coffee beans, we need to be aware that this is an urban environment populated by the sane. Sane people have a problem when meeting wogs who are dressed as though they have form, function, and purpose. Therefore, it is necessary to disguise yourself to be able to walk amongst them without drawing undue attention. Okay, now we've donned our civilian attire. This is quite obviously not military issue kit, and you are therefore peaceful to anyone who sees you. You have your watch on, you have a white t-shirt on. White t-shirts are universal around the world and pretty much of North American culture. A set of blue jeans. Any particular make or model is fine, but blue jeans are recognized internationally as civilian attire. Therefore, you are friendly. There are no problems with your indigenous populace. Also, Desert boots work very well as a perfectly, perfectly good urban walking environment boot. You are now capable with your belt, your keys, and various essential gear. You are able to infiltrate and move amongst the people of the sane environment. We're outside of 10,000 Villages. This is an organization which was originally established by a Mennonite church. And what they do is they travel around the world. They find home decor, collectibles, signatures, gifts, toys and games, and coffee beans, which are sold at ethically traded prices. Ethical trading or fair trading is what it means is, is that they don't like hire people in these countries that are destitute. One, they don't take advantage of them for 10 cents on the dollar. They actually pay them a fair market share for whatever goods they purchase. When we go inside this store here, there's all manner of bric a brac and knickknacks, which you buy at a larger name brand store, but instead of actually, you know, imprisoning people in slave camp type environments, they're encouraging the third world to better themselves and pull themselves up. So let's take a look at what they got inside. Now as you look around inside here, you'll see that there's all manner of goods in here. This is the same kind of stuff you'd buy at a company like, say, uh, oh, uh, I can't think of any names right now, and it's probably a good thing. There's a lot of these companies that import stuff from Indonesia, Pakistan, Africa. A lot of these countries where people are just, you know, literally life is cheap and people do anything to survive. So rather than being predatory as a market nature on these smaller countries and these indigenous peoples, these people are actually helping these people. Now I'm sure that I'm not too familiar with their corporate structure, and I'm sure that they're not exactly, you know, completely painted with gold either. But no matter, even if they do a couple of things wrong. The fact is, is the basis of their company, the basis of their organization is upon helping people, not upon exploiting them to make money. This is a very, very good business model because it is a, has longevity. When you screw people over, in the short term you get gain, but long term you get no gain. Long term solution is to help people at the ground level. These are fairly traded chocolate covered coffee beans from JustUsCoffee.com. Chocolate covered coffee beans are the wog food of choice. Why? Because they actually have negative calories. They make you go fast, providing the sugar to let you carry on to achieve your objective. Very, very handy snack, highly portable, will fit inside any of your gear. Do not use it as a stimulant for more than three days or you will begin to hallucinate. The Kung Fu Outfit. Yes, the beautiful and famed Sean Kennedy Kung Fu Outfit. What is the point of the Kung Fu Outfit Sean? Well, this is several thousand years of Chinese engineering to make the most comfortable clothing possible for daily wear. Now, when you're inside your own home, you have privacy, which means, really, you could walk around naked if you wanted to. The problem with walking around naked is, is that I do not possess as much body hair as my ancestors, therefore you get cold. Now, you could turn up the heating in your house and then walk around naked, but again, it gets expensive. And furthermore, Jehovah Witnesses come to your front door and they get somewhat distraught when you answer the door naked. I don't know why they do that, 
that because you are in your own house and you should be able to answer the door naked. However, apparently a lot of the Christian organizations don't like naked people. So, for those of you wondering why the Kung Fu outfit is an accessory I choose to employ, that is what I use as my house clothing. House clothing is a tradition which was, oh, probably from about the 1930s and prior. Whenever people would be in their homes, they would have house clothing they would wear around the house. This shows that now is a relaxation time. Your home should be an area for you to relax. You shouldn't have to go out to relax. Why would you need to go to a club where there's driving music and you can't hear anything and you're fed alcohol to relax? Ridiculous. You should stay at home and be able to read. You should be able to watch films. You should be able to enjoy media that you choose to. And to do this, you should be as comfortable as possible. I highly recommend the Kung Fu outfit to anyone who's looking for something to lounge around in. Instead of track pants or clothing that has logos on it and things like that. So, I have chosen to don the Kung Fu outfit. It allows me a complete range of motion while remaining comfortable and yet somewhat stylish. Right. Now, the thing is, we have the problem of hair. I specifically have a huge problem with hair. I mean, look at all this. This is, uh, this is fro action on the go here. So, I've been thinking about the haircut. Now, the haircut's the greatest rip-off there ever was. I mean, you're paying, even if you go to some bargain joint, you're paying eight bucks to get someone who's, like, you know, you know, half retarded cut your hair, and they're gonna mess it up, and you're gonna go pay another eight bucks, or probably sixteen bucks, to get somebody to fix it. I mean, how many people have done that? So, you know what? I think that, uh, haircuts on the whole are nothing more than fashion. Really. I mean, what what is the point of having your hair cut? Uh, why not just grow it super long? Well, it gets mangy and unmanageable. And actually, hair is really dirty. Hair is disgusting. Dreadlocks are sick. There's animals and shit living in dreadlocks. Yeah, you're all cool and rasta, but your hair is rotting and you're festering like shit in your hair. Okay, so that's not cool. So you gotta try to keep the hair clean. Now, I have the worst hair on the planet, easily. Christian Bale and I, we have a problem. And that is that we have really, really hardcore, curly, curly, thick, like Italian hair going on on my head. Like seriously, I can stuff a quilt with it. So all my life, I've been trying to figure out what the best haircut is for me. Add to this the fact I'm a big geek. So it's really, really hard to come up with like a badass haircut. So I just stopped caring about what other people thought and went with what went and made sense. What does it do? Your hair is there for a purpose. What is its function? So if you're going to get a haircut, why do you want, what, what kind of haircut you should get should be based upon what you're going to be doing. I in the army learned that, you know, hair is a big hassle. You want to be able to get up, throw some water on your face, keep some water off the top of your head and go from there. So what they do, a lot of guys, they go with the high and tight, right? Where they keep it in close around the head. And that's an amazing experience unto itself. And anybody who's ever, if you've never had super short hair, I will show you right now how to give yourself a heck of a trip. The best day to do this is the first day of spring so that you've got a good summer cut and you can maintain that maybe uh, twice a month. You want to cut your hair twice a month. And that way it never looks like you've had a severe operation. The first time you do it, no one will have any questions that you've become like, you know, you're going hardcore wog, but that's how it works. So, why are we here? <laughs> why, why did you come here today? Why did I come here? Yeah. You're looking to get a haircut. What is your name? What, what's your online name? Prozio. Prozio. Ah. Yeah. That was a dumb fucking question on my behalf. Before we go any further, I want you, I want you to talk to the camera, give your, your online name, and a brief bio about yourself, okay? You got nothing to do with me. All right, I'm Prozium. I'm 23 years old. I am a security guard from Abbotsford, BC. I'm uh, here to get my uh, wog haircut. That's about all I can say. Cool. I am gonna need a towel, Nate. So I spilt my tasty beverage, which is terribly bad for me and slowly poisoning and rotting away my bones all over the goddamn counter. You will get in the chair. Last chance, are you sure you wanna do this? Yeah. Okay. I'm up for this. Lean forward, freaky. Freaky. Lean back. Okay. Coat's off. You're gonna get so much people talking so much shit about you, it is going to blow your fucking mind how much everyone seems to know about you. So why get your hair cut? Why get my hair cut? A number, okay. number of different reasons. Such as? First of all, I know how much respect people with uh, this kind of haircut gets, and I'm kind of looking for that. That's fair. Are you aware of how much disrespect people with haircuts like this get? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Get into it right off the cuff. You, I got one of these razors here, which I bought from a, one of them, you know, pawn shops, I guess. And then uh, I got these scissors, and we're at Sim's house. And uh, I got, uh, I don't really know what this is for, but it looks pretty combish. And I guess you can paint with this in. I guess we got to get it off. Uh, you want to take the sides off. When you have no hair, and you're not going to believe this until you do this, but when you have no hair on the back of your head and on the sides of your head, you can feel more. It's like the room doesn't seem so close anymore. Like you can, you, you're aware of air currents around your head. It's an amazing feeling.
insulate. And I like keeping a little bit of hair on top just as an insulator because 80% of your body heat is lost through the top of your head. So if you're bald, like shaved bald, you lose a lot of body heat. So it's always best if you got thick hair, leave a little bit on the top there and that's the goal of that haircut. Very quick, easy to clean. Now if we mess this up, the nice thing about this particular haircut is if you mess this up, no problem, just shave your head. And no one, you know, I mean, as long as you're not shaving with an ax, you shouldn't really hurt yourself, all right? So we'll get into it here. Now I'm guessing that uh, you're supposed to do this in layers. I'm sure all the hairdressers out there are going, oh my God, he's really serious. He's never done this before. No, it's true. And I, why, why don't I have somebody else doing this is because why should I pay someone to cut my hair? That doesn't make sense. I mean, it's me, right? If you're going to do an expression of yourself and stuff, why not cut your own hair? So, I mean, this is the remnants of my old haircut. I guess we'll, we'll take it up to high and then go from there. So, uh... Yeah, that's gonna get on my shirt and stuff. Probably take your shirt off, I guess. So, excuse me. Now, um, I've never actually cut hair before on someone else. You're actually the first person I've ever done this, so I may actually fuck this right up. If I do, I'm gonna shave your head bald. Actually, I woke up with that done to me after I got drunk one night. Really? Yeah. So this is really SFA. What do you think of the statement, you only got one chance to make a first impression? I do believe that. You do believe that? Do. So when people see you, they're gonna be saying, whoa. No, but you trust me, right? Which is the which is a big part of that. You're letting me cut your hair. I, I went to Value Village and I had to buy this motherfucker at Value Village in order to just make my hair do this. Do you have one of these? Get one. Acquire one. You'll be needing to, to trim this like uh, ooh, a couple times, uh, probably at least once a week. Okay, I'm just gonna start nice and easy. <laughs> Shit, this is a hell of a lot easier to do this than it is on someone else. Or on yourself, rather. Somebody saying goodbye, my sweetheart. Hello, Vietnam. Would you? <laughs> Look at this. God oh, damn! I'll good. cut. I'll cut your hair any day, buddy. It's Holy crap, easy. this is fucking simple. I'm actually gonna give you the full on wog cut, okay? So I'm gonna take it right down to the skin over the whole deal here. I'm just taking it down to here first, get sort of a general idea where the hell I'm going with this. Do, 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 do. Uh, just so you know, I can't hurt you with this. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's why I'm using it. Now you are aware that this wog haircut isn't something I invented, right? So actually, this is the haircut which men who fought and died for their country for years, this is what they did. This is how they cut their hair. I cannot get this fucking chunk of hair right here. Come here. You have like evasive hair. Yeah. <laughs> you have EA, the escape and evasion hair. You know, I, I gained so much respect for hairdressers. I am so sorry that I've ever faulted you for your skill. All right. He's fucking that right up. Oh my God, this poor kid. You know, no matter how scary this is for you, it's actually scarier for everyone. Everybody watching right now, they're like, oh my god, does this guy fucking know what Sean's doing? And more than that, there's people who have no idea why on earth you do this. None. Oh fuck. What's the power on, of man? his hair. Power. Your hand. Yeah, this is great. I'm like, wow, I should do this for a fucking living. I've oftentimes thought of being a hairdresser. Oh, I'd be a fucking rad hairdresser. <laughs> oh, rocking out and going to the hairdresser. Okay, watch your eyes. I don't know what this is. shit is. I think it's water. Of course, I've always noticed that hairdressers are hairdressers are kind of crazy. Have you ever noticed that? So I'll just hang that up there. It's best to go over to your buddy's house, who's the cameraman, and do this there, so that way you won't make such a huge mess, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. Now, I have this on the highest setting right now, just to get it down. Now, unfortunately, I wear glasses, so that means it's gonna be a little difficult to actually see what I'm doing, but, you know, we'll get to there. I think you have better results when you go back to front. Yeah, let's get the thick Italian here, there. Nice. Yeah, we're down low. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's right. That's what we want, right there. How's that? Is that good for length? Yeah, it's pretty short on the sides. I guess I'm pretty much set that tone. I guess we'll go from there on the side. So we'll just make a line. And you want to make sure it's kind of even, so you want to sort of do a line, and then go below that line. Yeah, I'm sure this will get Photoshop. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Sim is loving this. So, you want to keep it even right the way around. You know, use your mirror. I got some cheap ass shavers here, but whatever, they get the job done. Yeah, get that off. I'll tell you, you start to feel better almost immediately. It's like a great cleansing, you know? First day of spring should be about doing new things. New ideas for yourself, you know? Get, uh, things that you want to do. This you know, look at this. Weak shavers. <laughs> this is some weak ass shavers. Is your shavers better than this or what? Um, are they, are I they think better? so. Are they? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna see? Try. We're gonna upgrade the shaver. So this shaver is a piece of shit. It will not cut one guy's hair. Try. We'll try the the, the sim shavers and see what they're about. This is a sim shaver. Ooh. And what does that look like in, on the dance floor? Well, they're definitely stronger. I'll give them that. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. I'll feel a weird there. Uh, yeah, that's about the same, eh? Well, uh, wow, look at all the silver, man. I'm getting old, dude. And this sucks. <laughs> Screw this, man. These razors suck ass. Where's those scissors? We're going manual. Look at this. 
I got armored head, man. Even my hair doesn't want to like give up. I gotta tell you, I'm always expecting the sharp pain as I'm snip. Now watch the ear. Am I doing any damage back there or what? Oh yeah, it's coming off. Is it? All right, what do we got here now? Oh, this is great fun. You know, I may have perhaps made fun of hairdressers before. All right, well, you know what? We're getting patchy. Let's, just, let's change our approach here. All right. Ah, oh, no, we're good. Now we're getting somewhere. This shit's coming off now. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I think I figured out this little lever thing on the side here. Yeah, there we go. That's the shit. This is fucking. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it all one way. Oh, okay. Whoa, I got a big cowl at the end of that. Oh, fuck off, dude. There we go. Okay, let's try to work from the base up here a little bit. I'm gonna turn my back on you. There we go. Now, there's that short spot I took off. We're getting this hair down to a level now where we can start to do something with it. Where it's not like completely fucked. Now, I'm gonna have to take off my glasses. Now, if you wanna add to this, okay. If I can do this and I make this happen, anyone can do this. Because I'm so blind without my glasses on, man. You would not believe how blind I am without my glasses on. Ah, there we go. We got some good chunks there. Now the line we're gonna go with, I think is gonna be from here, around the back to here. So we're gonna line it up to there. Let me just get in front of them. Because you'd think if I just stayed with these lines, I'd be okay, but that's not the case actually. You gotta kinda kinda measure it out on your head so it, I don't fuck it up. So I'm actually gonna get in front of you and be doing this kind of a thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That would be magic. Well, that's coming off now, baby. Did you bring your camera? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, he did. Didn't take it. Anything? Well, I was kind of not trying to wreck the ambiance, you know. There is no ambiance. <laughs> yes, I am all about. I am fucking ambiance. You see this shirt here? This is a Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian shirts are nothing but fucking ambiance. <laughs> that uh, goes for us, you guys, eh? If ever you want to shoot tape, bring cameras, bring video, bring whatever, man. <laughs> That's all I can, because everybody else is gonna judge me by this fucking haircut I get right now tonight. Yeah, the goal here is not to show off your pain tolerance by me cutting off your ears. <laughs> <laughs> the goal here. Oh, that would be entertaining. No, yeah, which is fucked up that it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know what? This isn't doing a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? What does it do? How well does it do it? This is to signal aircraft, and I'm sure it does an amazing job. The funny thing is, because I'm not. Concentrates on how she well. Goes over the room. Yeah, pretty much. And it's a good thing, too, because I haven't got much brain matter going on, so I need to concentrate on what I can. If you think that not having this haircut will get you a job, you're probably right. Is that a job you want, though? But the question is, what is your job? And are you your job? That's the big question here. I don't think that this haircut should matter. Furthermore, I don't think that anyone should be able to fire you because of the way you look. But they can, if they dare. Jeez, it's, look at this guy, he's got all the faith in the fucking world in me, eh? Okay, we're going somewhere with this. I'm starting to get some fucking damage done here. It's starting yeah, to look good. Yeah, yeah, we're a little high on this side. I'm gonna bring that down. Yeah. That thing takes a lot of pictures. Jacket? Huh? Should I have a new jacket? Yeah, I'm gonna my jacket. That looks great. Yeah. You're gonna want to have one fuck of a shower when you get home though, because I got little hair all over everything. Poor Nate. Where's your broom, buddy? Give me a broom. Okay, so we got this pretty much down to uh, where we wanted it to be, and, and if you look how easy that is. I mean, we've got very little hair left over, and uh, there's nothing to it. I mean, it's 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 too easy to cut your own hair. I don't know why more people don't do it. Um, and I suggest that every wog go get himself one of these things and uh, let her go. You know why not? I mean, you know, I'm I don't know much about cutting hair, but I think I did an okay job with this here. After you're done, you know, it's good to splash a little bit of water on yourself. You can wash the excess hair down the sink. You know, and then of course you got to use a good halfway decent gel that you buy. Some you know failed dollar store or something like that. You can get that in the hair there and spike that up a bit. Yeah, it looks much better now. Stand it up. There you go. Yeah, that's a nice way of saying, hey, you're beautiful. My name's John Kennedy, and I am the fucking man. So before you're ready to go out and face the world, you gotta make sure you got your essentials back. You gotta be happy with how you look and how you feel. Nothing wrong with dressing any way you see fit. You can't let all the all the people out there, you know, all the freaks and weirdos. 
geeks, everyone, you know, that you got to be a man who'd stand up to all that. You got to be the kind of a man who'd uh, say, I'm not going to be pushed around anymore, you know? And uh, you got to make a statement. And I think that's what it's all about. So, uh, you know, you keep the faith. We'll do this a lot over the next series. These are all done candid. None of this is scripted or drilled. Me and James go for walks in the mornings and we think about things and generally questions come up. And this one today is why we don't have flying cars. We got a man on the fucking moon, okay? We got microchip computers that can use light computation. And you're here to tell me that we don't have flying cars. Ha 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 ha, why don't we have flying cars? Really? What, we don't have the technology now to do flying cars? Excuse me, I got a robot doing break dancing. Fuck off, I can get some flying cars. Okay, where's my flying car? Well, the truth of the matter is we don't want you to have flying cars. Oh, that's stupid, Sean, it's paranoid. Why would they want us to have flying cars. Well, what would that mean if we had flying cars? Well, that would mean that we could we could get to work faster. That's right. We could go faster. We could go places faster with no regulation. We wouldn't have to use the roads, would we? No, we wouldn't. No. No. And we could kind of take off and go wherever we wanted, couldn't we? Well, yeah. Yeah, we could. How much of the planet is not city? Oh, look at that! It's like three quarters of the planet are water, and we never even think about that. Three quarters of the planet are open fucking ocean. If the WOG movement went completely aquatic, we could take over the world because it's bigger. We could fence the beaches and look at them and say, you're outside, on land. Okay, do you see my point? If you get flying cars, you're able to fuck off into the bush. You're able to go as far away, your unregulated travel, borders don't mean shit, people can start communicating. Now we have the movement of goods that is unregulated. We can't have trucking anymore, because truckers go through checks, bites, what goes here and there. You give people flying cars, you know how much pot's gonna be in the United States? Weed prices are going down, okay? Volume, volume, volume. Not to mention, people be like, you know, like there'd be radical grow-ups, guys flying over forests, dropping seeds like bombs into the forest and shit. I mean, you think about it. The last thing you want to do is give people the ability to fly. This troubles me, personally, as a WOG, as a person who feels that he should have the ability to have a flying car. I'm upset by that. Now, me doing the WOG thing and the WOG way, WOG way, of course, is to seek the truth. The second part of the WOG way is to use garbage to build better things. This is why we're so heavy into the army surplus gear and whatnot. So I'm certain we have progressed far enough to technology, there's lots of things that fly, isn't there? I mean, shit. When you think about it, you look at any of those popular mechanics, they had personal jetpacks. Oh, isn't that cute? Did it fly? Yeah, but it only flew like 30 feet. Yeah, yeah, you know, steam engines when they first made them <laughs> were pretty, pretty basic, you know. But we're talking like the Mueller Sky Car had like 15 billion dollars put into it, and like, you know, Larry Flatjack from uh, Mississippi, Melbourne, or wherever the fuck he's from, builds himself a rocket pack in the basement and goes, well, isn't that cute? The dude flew. Hello, you know? Not only that, but that's just one example. See, nobody's making stuff for people to use, they're making stuff for corporations to buy. So if I go and I show you how to build things out of garbage that you can find, everywhere, that'll be illegal. It doesn't make sense, but if I showed you how to build a, oh, uh, shit, I don't know, uh, a flying, uh, I'm going to show you how to build a flying car. I got no idea about aeronautics or physics, but it can't be that fucking hard. I mean, come on, man. A bunch of retards on a bicycle and some balsa wood did it in, back in 1910. They didn't have computers or fuck all. You don't even have to be able to think anymore. Think about it. Well, you need to have an engineering degree. Or what? Or they won't license you. It's not getting <laughs> licensed, fucker. We're going to make the thing fly. How hard can it be? Then you'd be like the radical flying guy, and everyone's like, we don't know what's in there. Well, welcome to the world of privacy. I built it. It's mine. Why do I need to tell you what's in my flying car. Well, you could crash, yeah, and I'll die, which would be my choice again. Mine. My fault. Me. I'm accountable. See that? People, people don't fucking, they don't want to be accountable anymore. And that's part of the problems with our society. No one wants to be accountable. Hey, uh, this kid went crazy and shot everyone. Oh, that's the music. I've never, I have yet to see an album pick up a fucking gun and shoot somebody. Kurt Cobain went and fucking, BAM! Dusted, right? And people say Courtney Love was involved, but I don't know. But anyway, Kirk O'Man gets fucking snapped. He's gone, right? And then you're like, oh, okay, okay. Now what do we do? Well, let's uh, let's shoot ourselves <laughs> to be like Kirk, you know? And uh, and that scares the shit out of me, because I guarantee there's some people out there who like me more than they like Kirk Cobain. Not saying you like Kirk Cobain as much as people, but there are people out there who prefer me to Kirk Cobain. Okay. So what if I get like killed and it's made to look like a suicide? Would they be able to kill all the walks? You know, don't think about it, right? Like if you wanted to kill people who were following a leader, and you know that they were like. A I'm saying following a leader, because a leader isn't the same as a political figure, but that's that's difficult. Leaders, you follow because you want to. Political figures, you follow because you're told to. See, that's the difference. That's why Marilyn Manson is a leader. He's a leader of people who want to be like him. And people go, oh, well, he doesn't have any real power. No, he's got mass real power because he gives people the power of choice, right? People watch these shows. I give people the power of choice. Don't be like me. If everyone worshipped Sean like they worshipped Kurt, I were to get fucking dust. Everyone would be like, oh, it's over. Hammer. Bullshit. No, you can't do that. So what you got to do is you got to look at people who's right now who are leaders. Right now, I'm probably the only, well, I know a couple 
couple other wogs, but I guess I'm pretty much it. There's probably about 35 of us who are all hard ass and badass and stuff. It started when I was a kid. And now I'm just gonna, rather than having the Tweedsmere Marine Corps like it was in high school, we're just gonna get back to basics and show everyone how to do everything on the ground, you know? The whole fucking nine, all the military shit. But neither here nor there at that time. There are leaders and not political figures, okay? You gotta stay with me here. So back to the leader. Manson's a leader. I am a leader of the wog movement. But if some other wog comes along and goes, look at me, I'm doing this. I'm better than Sean is. People will go, yeah, he is. And then they'll follow him. And then he's the leader. And then I'm a leader. Oh, you can't have two leaders. Why not? People will choose where they want to go. Have a million leaders. Have 10 million leaders. I don't care. Open source wog movement. Nobody owns it. I, I gave it a name and videotaped it. I didn't make this forced up. That was a kid I had on I made. I can't make shit. All I can do is configure things. And I know how to do configuration. And anybody who codes knows that configuration is key. Less lines for the program. You know what I'm saying? So that's, uh, that's kind of what it is that I'm doing here. We're making a big brain virus that we're going to infect the world with for the hopes of world peace. That's the, the big plan. So the next asshole asks me why I'm doing this. Why do you do that? You're not making any money. No, we're trying to do the world peace thing in a roundabout way. So that's, that's my total motivation here. But back to the flying fucking cars. You got to understand that when people talk about suppressed science, don't worry about free energy. Oh, I mean, there's lots of reasons why they'd suppress free energy. Well, then you couldn't build people for it. And, and then what would happen? Well, then everyone had free energy. Then what would happen? Oh, the power companies would be dead. Yeah. Is that what you're worried about? Not really. No. Because what happens then after all the power companies are dead? We don't need power companies. The need for money starts to deteriorate. People who got fired by the power companies, oh, they're fucked. No, they're not. They got free energy. What are you talking about? Right? If, and all this doesn't happen overnight. You've got like months and months and months. Like if just knowledge was free and everything was free, if the knowledge was there and everybody, every human took his responsibility to be independent of the system, to be dependent upon themselves, made their own equipment, used the tools that exist because of technology, used technology for the good, which is to survive and to make your life easier rather than making fucking bombs, which have a use, by the way. <sighs> Kill. Uh, you know, you, you've got to, we've got to master technology first. And if we don't master the technology, people go, wow, it's amazing what you've done, Sean. Really? Is it so, that incredible? I think it's pretty pathetic, actually. I mean, it's kind of neat that I've been able to do so much with so little. Here we are in the middle of a forest. I'm wearing a bunch of army surplus gear. And uh, there's probably about 20,000 people going to see this. What the fuck do you think that's like for me? So you say you got to know why the world goes around. And you can't find the truth in the things you've found. And you're scared shitless because evil abounds. Come join.